because this has been a, a, a working, a, we've been working on this. Uh, Growing Young Black Women has been such a program working with young women all over um, our nation and especially in, on the West Coast. And today we've just made this a national movement by making it a also a podcast. And I'm your host, um, Jay-Z Shepard, and I've been... Um, excited for this opportunity to reach out and not only to reach out, but to be able to give you guys a place where we can come together so we can discuss hot topics that's going on and we don't give a Christian worldview. And so today I'm by myself on the very first episode of GYBW podcast, Growing Young Black Women podcast show. So yay, everybody clap, yay, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. So I don't want to be too long on this first first episode, but I do want to talk about something that's been on my heart. Um, Today's date is 11-14-2020. And we have just um, entered in an extremely hot topic that we're going to talk about. And I want to address it and and how it's affecting growing young Black women today. And then um, also address it of how do we see it within the kingdom. And so um, let me go ahead and start off with prayer because I know whoever's listening in right now, um, there's always, always opportunity for you to seek God. And I'm always going to be here for you to pray with you. So let's seek him right now. Father God, we just give you the honor and glory this whole opportunity to worship you, but to share your love and to share your views, God your views of how things are happening, your views of how you want your kingdom to reign within us as black women and all women all over the earth. And so God, we thank you, Lord, that you are going to reach, that you're going to teach us and we're going to keep it real because you keep it real, God. We thank you for this day in your son Jesus' name, amen. All right, keeping it real is what I do. And so I'm I'm excited to do that. But let's talk about what's been happening. Like I said, we're going to have hot topics with the Christian worldview. There's going to be so many other wonderful segments that we talk about. And we have our awesome guest speakers that's going to be coming in. Chaplain Takia Hullaby, CEO of Jared Facility Services, um, Alicia Jarrett. She's going to, she's a businesswoman. She's ran million dollar businesses all over the world. 
and she is going to give her wonderful empowerment coaching. And so is uh, Takia, who is a financial professional. So she's an empowerment coach and a minister. And this is just, you know, we're going to bring it to the table and we're going to get deep. We're going to get deep in issues that, you know, um, some segments are going to be about abortion. Some segments are going to be about, um, you know, same, same sex marriage and what the Lord says that. Some segments are going to be about skin, you know, beautification, all kinds of things that we want to talk about. And we're going to give a Christian worldview. We're going to give the kingdom worldview. Okay. Um, one of the biggest topics though, that's going on right now, that's been going down is our politics. And how does God see the politics of today? How does God see everything that's happening right now? We're in the year 2020. And yes, we have entered into possibly the last year of Trump and a new year of a Biden. We don't know yet. And like I give the date this um, at this beginning of this second was, you know, we're, we should already know what's going on. What's going on? Why we don't know. Some people say um, that right now with Biden, that he's lying, um, that he's, um, that, you know, it's, it's the media. He hasn't really won yet. And we haven't got the elect electoral votes in yet. And so we got, that doesn't come in until December. And then you got the other side that's saying that, you know, you just don't want to concede because you, you're pretty much um, are scared or you're trying to hold on to get the uh, congressional votes. All right, first thing, when it comes to, uh, Yahshua Messiah, our Heavenly Father, Jesus. He proved and showed himself as, as um, um, a person of a kingdom and a government that goes above this government. And so he's into politics, definitely, but he ain't into the worldly politics. He's into a, a, a kingdom government that's reigned in a perspective that's best for his people that serve him and which will be fruitful to all people as well because you're in order with God. So what's the order? How should we how should we see these kinds of situations as a Christian? Should we be concerned as a kingdom believer? And yeah, be careful when we say the word Christian because a lot of us that say that that we are Christians and yet we're not. We can't fit, we can't really see um, necessarily, we can't put diversity on kingdom that the way we define diversity and say, okay, that's who you are because we can see by your skin or the way you, um, or the things that you do. But the spirit is this realm of kingdom. And that is a very well reigned government. And that has one president. So my vote, of course, it's Yahshua Messiah. Who are you going for? So that's the main issue here is that growing up black women, have you already voted? So your first vote should have been already for Jesus. Your first vote should have been say, God, what does, what do I need to be doing in your kingdom and to, and be um, making sure that your policies are being successful here on earth and that it, it rains here. And what am I doing in that? Okay, so yeah, Jay Z, you're talking about we know about Jesus, but you know, in the real life, we need to we need to know what's going down. You know, we need to make a decision, and and honestly, either decision you make, it will it really doesn't matter when you serve an authority that's above and both. So if this guy, you if this guy is is you know far towards the, the the things that you don't like or you don't know that's not kingdom and this guy is far towards the things that you do like yet or are you in a place where they're both awful what what decision do you make at that point where you're saying this guy doesn't believe in the kingdom stuff that i'm doing and this guy doesn't believe in the kingdom my stuff that, and then there's a little pieces that do I get it, y'all, and I'm not going to make the decision for you, but I am going to say that there is a decision, and I know a lot of people who voted this year, I think it was dynamic to vote, that it was good that we vote, and for Black people, we need to vote, but we also got to understand the first vote that we're not making was our vote for Yahshua Messiah, our vote to say, God, we are tired 
our vote to say, God, enough is enough of what's been going on with Black women and our Black men and our communities. And God, we know that it's not just about being Black, but this just is about being kingdom. We know that you've seen that as servants to you, as believers, that you can see the, the mistreatment, the lack of, of reparation and restoration of our families has to change. And if I vote for the government that is doing this to us, if I vote for the government that has been hurting for us, it really won't matter if I don't vote for you, if I don't stand in an integrity and making sure I'm in alignment with you so you can reign in the government on this earth that goes above whatever the government is doing. Our character represents our, there's a, the word diversity doesn't go into this area. Your color doesn't go into this area that we're talking about. We're, yeah, we, we are a tribe within this area that matters to God, but it doesn't matter if you don't matter, if he doesn't matter to you. And at the end of the day, we're calling to a king and asking for his help. And yet he doesn't even know you at times. So I really want to make sure that we are making not just a decision that we're like, this is the, the most important decision for my children's future. But God can shut all that down for, for all governments right now. We see right now a lot of people that could be hearing this years later will hear this podcast. But we're in a time right now, there's a huge pandemic that is going over the whole world and 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 the cases have gone up that means it's not over and yet can the government stop that if they they, they try to find a way to control it nothing can stop what god has attended i'm not saying god has attended this disease but he has attended to protect us he's attended to provide for us and their power is not stronger than our fathers and so where are we at? Where are you at, growing black woman? How do you guys feel about this? How are you guys feeling? Like, where is the discussion in your heart? Where's the discussion with your friends? Is being black the only reason why we putting ourselves together to vote because of the things that we see? And is being black enough? Is being a black woman enough? Because we see a black woman that's in office. Is that enough? I don't think it is. <laughs> Let me er, run by the back. I know it isn't. I'm grateful and I'm happy that we have someone in position. I'm grateful and happy that we are standing our position. But at the end of the day, there's a further stance that, got, that has to happen. And it has to be the stance of your faith. It has to be the stance that I serve someone that is bigger, a king of kings, the Lord is Lord, that is above Trump, Biden, Harris, all these people. That will shut everybody down. That will blow all y'all out. And the only one that can really protect me is him. And if I don't vote for him first, it don't even matter who I vote for. So where's your vote at today, y'all? Are you voting for the president of the world? <laughs> Come on. I'm talking about king of kings, president of heaven and earth. Are you voting for that president? Because if you're not, and you haven't voted for him yet, we have some work to do growing young black women. We have some soul searching. We, I know we've been hurting. I, I could feel your pain because I am a black woman. And I know that the, I think about Harriet Tubman. I think about the strong black women that put this strength in here, but is it really about being strong anymore? Or is it being about order now? Who's in order today? And today, that's what I'm trying to teach today. I'm going to try to remind you guys today that as a growing young Black woman on this podcast and all the hot topics we bring up with the Christian worldview, are you going to stand as a woman, a growing young Black woman that stands for her faith, that stands for a king, that puts on her crown by God's glory? So let me just say this to everyone. Put on your crown, woman. Put on your crown of God's glory. And that is our podcast today. I'm Jay-Z Shepherd. I'm so happy that you're listening to me today and getting all this information. Don't forget, I will. this is our first episode. We will have our guest host. 
and they will be here next time. We can talk even more about what's going on with the growing young black woman with a Christian worldview. And we will have empowerment segments and then words of wise women, meaning women that have been through things that, that have aged, uh, aged in life, but young in spirit. And they are going to give you some words of wisdom. So I'm so grateful that you guys were on. I'm so grateful you all listening in and make sure you put God first in all that you do and never give up. So I just want to end right now. And remind you. Oh,